Hey guys, I'm done all that show. Then I'm not sure. Because you done my time. No, I'm just kidding. And I didn't come to see you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, today, I like to reminisce on certain things. Some of them will be funny ideas, some crazy ideas of mine. And then some of them will be, I guess, uh, more of a, um, how can I say, uh, paying attention, you know, uh, to things. And it's funny, I mean, like growing up in Ethiopia, you know, when I was a kid, uh, I don't know if you can hear me. This other ear. Okay, okay. It's very cold today. It's uh, 25 degrees. Not Celsius, Fahrenheit. Uh, so you can tell it's really, really, really cold. Um, but sunny though. So if the sun is out, it's good. Gives you life. I don't know. So, going back to what I was saying, growing up in Ethiopia, you know, uh, and so, Leba, Leba, Bijo, Safaru Bamulu, no, I mean, we don't call 911. There's no reason to call 911 street justice, you know? <laughs> You're gonna get some street justice. You know, it's not 911. No. We're gonna settle this in the street. <laughs> yeah. We'll be the judge and the keepers of the street, you know? So you have the kids, the old, the, the, the women, uh, and it's, it's entertainment, you know? Nobody misses that, you know. And then so much, you know, Situ Churasajo, Mercato or somewhere, they, they left their house to go shop, you know. But Agriman Garacho, Leva Leva Slatavara, they even changed their route. <laughs> They're gonna go. And at least on the culture set tone, you know. Nanducho Akafa only out, you know. Leva Komat only out. That's what I mean, really. That's how it used to be when I was growing up in Addis Ababa. So, what am I trying to say? I'm saying that back in the days, Liban Nabara Nabara. Okay? Ahongin Liban Yabara Just think, think about that for a second. Ethiopia was back in the days. In my lifetime, Leva Leva Katavala, Leva Fertu Kanda Safar, Amlet Orila Safar Bigava, who let the Safari Catalo in a paramaraton. It's like he'll get his ass whooped, you know. I mean, he has to make sure. I mean, he's running literally for his life, you know. Uh, you know, that's how it used to be. I don't get. Levi Alfaram, I don't know if I'm a man, but I'm a man, Levi Agarachin. And I'm a man, I'm a regular, so Levi Alhunaman. So I guess what it is now, what I'm trying to say is Agarachin, it was a loose of which one would a living nut to the world. Levi Honor, Levoch Honor. Yeah, I mean, if you want to live, <laughs> might as well. I'm a Levi Sletagaza. But There's no more innocence in Tibia. You know? Think about that for a second. You know? That's wild, isn't it? Here's a country that used to have some common sense. Some value. Uh, uh, now we don't hear 
You call 911 now, nobody comes. <laughs> the police doesn't. The police are asked to use that for you. Why am I going to put a couple of Whatever. But it's not the justice we used to have. You know? That was democracy, man. Street democracy right there, you know? If that's what you're talking about, democracy. I think I'm not really into democracy, neither. I'm not even into communism, fascism, all this. I'm not even a Marxist like most Ethiopians are. Uh, I'm just, I'm only loyal to the truth. That's it. If it's true, I will talk about it. If it's not true, I will tell you it's not true. Um, you know, the government don't know. Uh, another th funny thought that came to my mind is um, imagine you open a restaurant, Ethiopian restaurant, in the diaspora. But you have problem uh, advertising. You know, it's a new restaurant, and uh, I will, you know, I will show you a new nablu lamarat smoker, smoker. I will tell them because they know that you're struggling, and definitely they're not about to help you. You know, they want to see you crash. Oh, you open a restaurant, see how long it lasts. You know, uh, and plus, most Ethiopian restaurants they don't do breakfast; they just focus on dinner. So it's really limited as far as money making. Because all of them, oh yeah, uh, their, their menu is also limited. So like they don't have like cooking like uh, uh, like uh, cuisine like azifa, kutcha. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, other kinds. They only have like kampo or kitfo, uh, whatever is people, what they know, you know. So right now people don't know much anyway um, so they have problems uh, advertising uh, I think and you mean to so which column to they will come and spend some money to show that they cool you know we know something other than Amer American food you know which is basically burger and <laughs> so and then, you know, like, uh, how strong are you? I could take spicy food, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so, the white women, they, they will come to get a, a tan, you know, after they eat meat, meat, meat. When they come in, they're white. They come out, they like red, pink. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so, all these jokes, by the way... Uh, probably will hear it somewhere else after this video and maybe in a year or two and they, someone will make it like their jokes that happened to me before I told a joke one time saying that uh, I stayed at work I was uh, in Ethiopian Viagra and all of a sudden I heard it on a stand-up comedian years after I've said that I thought it was funny uh, so the word the word you know gets around somehow for whoever he hears it and then they make it theirs, which is good. It's, uh, it's good. At least, you know, somebody listened to me, you know. You know, somebody's listening somewhere, you know. Um, so that's a confirmation. Even though they, they heard the jokes, the bad jokes I was making. And not the serious topic I was talking about. Anyway, um, so imagine for this restaurant... Uh, my idea would be, okay, I can't get you to come to my restaurant. I'll put a sign, you know, like the, you know, unwanted sign, you know, like the circle with the tip. Yeah. And then um, you see the, the men walking inside and like a red circle with a, you know, dash like this. And on top I'll say, no Ab Abasha allowed inside. Yeah. At that point, indeed, well, how dare they uh, ban Avesha from Ethiopian restaurant? Below, ham sasel sahono You know, and that's that. I would have accomplished my uh, my goal. I wanted them to come, but if I call them, but it's a naimatulinu. So 
I'll put a sign that says, you know, uh, Abisha not wanted inside. You know, with a little. So, yeah, ne, tada walo, taka atra on time imatag. You know, yeah, they will call the cops and everything. You know, this is uh, outrageous. We have been disrespected. I will be on TV and everything. <laughs> yeah, well, my my restaurant will be famous, not only in the city I live, but worldwide. People in Ethiopia will hear about my restaurants. You know, you know, that would be like instant free advertising. You know, and they don't mess with you. What? I uh, my complaint to Ethiopian artists. So if you are an artist, uh, you guys copy everything. You make it look like it's Ethiopian creative creativeness creativity, but it's not. So like for example, those who live in uh, uh, Arab countries, translate and then it comes out like a, a new song. Even the like uh, sound, like uh, the melody, very yeah, Arab. And I know you don't know what a Kamiri Kamanam Konum. They sing the rap songs, and they changed the music. R&B songs into Arabic, but it's not their song. It's not their creativity. It's not so okay. So yes, I recommend it. There goes the labor. Good. You know, labor at a much total setting does you know. Now, labor not be one is not the matter. Then I got to see to chum labor channel. So does he look to me? Well, let us leave on it. Um, uh, so rap, reggae, I'm a tabalo, but I'm a witch. I got a music. I have a bamuru with a marinas and ten tablo. Well, I go a carbalinal and that is in yam Tasha Gran as Castaba Honim, you know, Moka Kral, you know. So why is my complaint? Why do you complain? Well, I have a complaint. How come there's no Amarinya opera? Yeah, think about it. Nobody attempted to make opera. You know why? There's no money in it. That's what they think. There's no money in it. So why would I spend trying to convert opera into Amarinya? When there is no money, <laughs> there's no money in it, right? That's so basically the artist. You guys are selfish. Um, you're not about art. You're about money. You're gold diggers. That's what you are. You're starving. Uh, you know what? You know, but you're not doing it for the love of music, uh, like you uh, you claim. If you did, you would have made opera by Maria. It will be interesting to hear, by the way. Opera by Marina. Can you imagine? With someone with a nice voice, now? That will be something to really... Uh, it will be revolutionary, I think. I think I think I think little audience in the North Opera... Like... Uh, you know that, that, that woman, that Chinese woman, or Indian, whatever, Asian woman in the, in the 80s, she was very famous. Oh, she was famous, that was famous. I even, I heard about it. Can, uh, Oprah, and I got on me, you know, but some people actually understand. I'm through, uh, so, yeah, that's, that would be, if there is an artist listening to what I'm saying, yeah, think about it, you know, let's, let's hear something new about them. And uh, that's all I have today. I hope uh, today I didn't uh, go into the politics or the religious and all the other stuff, 
but uh, hasa would you not couple corner as great if not well it's one amara's opinion not all amara's opinion but my um, my opinion counts over yours in this video <laughs> all right bye